welcome back my uh, gardening friends well I'm just trying to uh, get this little job done this is my uh, next year's giant cabbage bed in a previous video uh, I spoke about how I dug a trench a slip trench and put a few goodies in there, including some uh, manure runoff and uh, a few other bits and bobs that we got uh, knocking around wood chips, leaf mould that uh, went straight out the other side of the trommel, and I've just topped it up now with some of the compost that we find uh, on the side of the road and just to protect it we'll stick that bit of cardboard on I'll just go and fetch some more of the uh, bags of compost in the recent find. About to take those off once uh, the cardboard uh, settles. So. Uh, Let's uh, get on with having a look uh, on jobs on December. In my last video, may have been my last video, not sure yet, might slip one in between. I did mention that I'm going to be retiring in 2022 and I've never owned something that you have. So just have a little bit of a think about that. So it's a device that everybody carries around with them I've never personally owned one and uh, I'll let you know a little bit later what I'm using the money that uh, a few of my sub my viewers have sent me to help pay towards that uh, at the middle of uh, 2021 right let's go and have a little look around and I'll try and catch my breath As you can see, it's a wet, damp day again. So this is all now nicely covered. Um, I'm just short of one more of those, so I've got to cut that. And that helps hold the cabbage leaves up and stop some uh, falling over, because some of them do get rather big. So that's that little job done. We need to uh, get those put away as well. Those are uh, some recent <coughs> finds that we've uh, acquired. Uh, these two blue barrels with taps are winging their way to uh, one of my viewers. So uh, they'll be receiving them shortly. And we're still on 19 bags of uh, leaves that we've collected. So during uh, December we'll be uh, topping uh, these bays up and all this damp weather they're uh, settling rather nicely I think there must be six or seven bags in there now and eventually all those will be in there possibly by the uh, middle of uh, February they should all be in and uh, I must put these uh, liquid plant foods away I've done a video on that and as you can see the comfrey's dying back slowly now after those few frosts I need to get those straps put away get them rolled up nice and tidy uh, simple job but it always uh, it's a simple jobs that don't take long but it does make a hell of a difference uh, the greenhouse uh, here on the allotment fed by the uh, gravity wick guttering system it's done quite well uh, I've taken my first celery for the uh, vegetables for December and there's uh, a few peppers uh, 
and there we've got one of the pups off the uh, red cabbage ready for the my lunch box not sure how many more will heart up but uh, if it doesn't it'll go in the compost bin everything's looking black horrible here now on the wildflower walled life garden all my dahlias have uh, died back now and uh, any opportunity i get i'll spread the seeds give nature a helping hand to spread them out i'm definitely going to plant the dahlias this time because the last year these are there they are uh, they all came up so as soon as i can get this half straight i'll be uh, planting them in the ground so much easier when they're in the ground we don't have to water them if the weather does dry out i'll be getting a bit of silicon on that uh, guttering so that we don't lose too much water but we're constantly having lots of rain and these barrels are filling up so those will be full for spring and like i said before i can harvest the water from here and on the other side while that one is filling up uh, during the uh, the wet spells and uh, i'm going to make sure i've got a nice area so i can actually get to my seat this year and i'm going to be getting some more wild flower seeds to put on here because a lot of this soil has got to be spread out now i'll try and get that done in december in amongst this uh, polycarbonate i've got some sheets that have been cut at an angle or they fitted um, a conservatory roof at an angle and i'm hoping to use one of those to fill that space up there uh, to protect uh, my cardboard i've only got a few thin bits left now well i say a few quite a bit by the look of it but these thicker bits uh, i've got quite a few stashed away and uh, before i finish work i should be bringing all those home so i want them to be uh, nice and dry because they do uh, make an ideal covering for our beds during the winter months i've only recently got this barrel i've uh, cut it all down ready to use and uh, yeah there must be uh, just under an inch of water in there over the last uh, last few weeks so no wonder everywhere's uh, wet through but the wood chips make an ideal path and in three years time i can use those composted wood chips for my allotment beds as you can see even though it's uh, just the uh, start of december these paths that run all around the site uh, are a little bit uh, worse for wear i'm not going to kill myself in december so all these fruit bushes can uh, wait uh, till uh, the beginning of uh, january so as we move up to uh, the square foot gardening and the vertical gardening the uh, lettuce now is getting a little bit bitter but it hasn't been bad i am going to try and cut back all the uh, bull's blood beetroot to see if we can get some fresh new leaves and get the coal frame cover on hoping to build a framework for those but until the polytunnel's done i don't want to use uh, any wood until then i uh, can't believe the spring onions are still going the difficulties that i had growing them uh, this year i'll get those cleaned up and we've got plenty of uh, kale uh, this kale is absolutely uh, riddled uh, with uh, green fly so uh, you can see there um, but not much uh, white fly there's the uh, white fly on the uh, sprout uh, leaves but uh, that's even nasty you can't even wash that off but still getting a nice meal every so often uh, thank you very much for all the nice comments about the uh, sprouts let's get that leaf off <coughs> you see it's so wet and uh, definitely going to have uh, sprouts for christmas and uh, today 
I might as well take the rest of that stalk away. Uh, you can actually eat that. Uh, that one's better than the one that I've just done. But we'll see. They are getting a little bit moth-eaten. But looking at a lot of others, these have done uh, very well. And they're the uh, Crispus F1 from DT Brown. You only get 20 seeds in a packet, but I've still got 10 seeds for next year. Happy days. I need to get to all the Bunyards Exhibition broad beans uh, tied up now. They, uh, <coughs> if I don't, I'm going to cuss. <coughs> and I'm starting to take the Swedes from in between. And there's the uh, green manure. Um, the first one has gone rotten, but this one's uh, good. It's gone rotten, that one has. But uh, see how long we can keep those going for. Hopefully into February. And I must start taking off uh, these damaged leaves. They're the ones that are touching the ground. Mm. Didn't spot that one, that definitely looks... Uh, could be pigeon, could be pigeon damage. <coughs> looks like they've landed on this side, I'll use this net to try and stop them. So I will be checking the other side, but it looks like the pigeons had a little go there. As it gets colder, especially when we get snow on the ground, the pigeons will, will land. Normally, on top of your brassicas. And I must get the crimsons uh, in as well. And I'm thinking about harvesting these red cabbages, pulling them out by the root, turning them upside down and hanging them in the shed. The uh, sprouting broccoli, well, how amazing is that? We shouldn't get any crops until February, but they certainly uh, got plenty of growth on them. And no signs of anything yet, and I wouldn't expect that at the uh, beginning of uh, December. It's a long, long-term crop, possibly nearly uh, 10 months, but it is well worth it once you start to get those little florets. So, so that's the sprouting, and that's the uh, the kale there. Got the celery out. I'm just uh, going to get a little bit of the top out of that because in the bottom half there is the manure, so that can go in uh, the other bed. I'll top this one up. I've got plenty of soil. These are the Autumn King 2 carrots. I've just took a few out there. And uh, that's literally how I've took them out from uh, that front edge. I'll be cutting those off soon and uh, mulching up and covering them like we have done those for the winter. And that's where they'll stay. So we've got some of the soil cleared up. We've got another four good pallet collars there. Um, unfortunately this one hasn't sat perfectly, it's a little bit proud but it's sitting on the same slabs at the bottom there keeping it off the ground but uh, it'll look aesthetically uh, pleasing and I've been topping it up with some of the uh, saw from right at the bottom and then under here we've got some of the better uh, to go on top but from that layer onwards uh, I will be sieving it just to get rid of the, uh, the larger, larger debris. Just moving round to the permanent uh, uh, potato bed. Uh, if everything goes all right, I'll uh, get uh, some more planted uh, very soon. So I've selected uh, four of my own Sarpo seeds. Uh, we've got um, four Picasso there. I've got some more in the at home that I've saved. And they're the uh, kestrels. I'll save those, not going to wash those because I'll need them and as you can see now uh, it's been so warm 
damp and horrible here that uh, the kestrels have started to sprout so there's another four of the purple ones we'll uh, eat those and then we've got some of the pink fur apples potatoes and uh, i'll be plonking those uh, straight back in this row again but i've got as far as this now and then we've got a full row of the white potatoes plus a few more in the tubs and then we can start eating the christmas potatoes that i've got to go in uh, in the greenhouse uh, grow room so we'll get these washed as well you're not going to poop in my cup are you that's my friend the robin absolutely scares me to death when he flies in um with it all being damp and horrible um I am keeping an eye on the, the onions, but uh, some of them, uh, ooh, spin, spin. But as you can see, they're all desperate to uh, grow now. It's just one of those years. But uh, I can't grumble, can't grumble. I've had uh, some uh, really good uh, vegetables this year. So some of the casualties we'll uh, take home but uh, even better when we can harvest um, stuff like this. It looks like I've uh, missed the um, sprouts. There we go. So, nice meal today. Jacket potatoes uh, in the week. And uh, I'll say I've uh, given the potatoes a reasonable clean, but I can't find my uh, lined uh, thermal gloves that I usually do the washing. We take a selection of onions uh, and that'll keep uh, Mrs K uh, happy for now. Right, so hope you've uh, enjoyed that uh, my uh, gardening friends. Uh, now down to the nitty gritty. What have I never had? Uh, it's a mobile phone. Uh, when I first started work, 78, the first phones that you saw were like bricks. We used to use two-way radios and eventually as I uh, we worked our way through uh, we had phones give, the, give us and I don't use a phone very often. Uh, I stick to the social media at home and YouTube stuff but as I uh, approach retirement I think next year I need to get myself a phone and uh, try and uh, get used to the technology. So it's a mobile phone that I've never personally had that you probably all had or carry now. So thanks very much guys. Um, those uh, people who've sent me some um, pennies on the payball, thank you very much. And that's what I'm going to put it towards uh, next year. They're not cheap, are they? So take care, my friends. Don't forget to uh, consider subscribing leave a comment uh, and uh, like or dislike for the interaction and uh, we'll see you next time take care my friends ta for now